Hey guys, we're going to talk about some more irregular verbs this week, okay? So even more. We've been doing irregular verbs for a couple weeks now, and we're just going to focus on even more today. So the verbs say and eat are irregular verbs. You do not add that ed ending to these verbs. So we're still talking about past tense, okay, so things that happened in the past. Say tells about an action happening now, so that's the present. Said tells about an action in the past. Eat tells about an action happening now, also the present. And ate tells about an action in the past, okay? So, things are happening now. Now the boys eat turnips. Last night's the past. Last night the boys ate turnips. Now they say they love turnips. Yesterday they said they loved turnips. So remember our thinking question, a big idea is, is the action happening now or did it happen in the past? You know, either to use eat or ate, say or said. So let's look at some examples. Last week, Jamal and Oscar blank no vegetables. Well, since it says last week, I know it's the past tense, so it's going to be ate. So let's read and check. Last week, Jamal and Oscar ate no vegetables. Okay? Then, yesterday, Jamal and Oscar what many vegetables? Well, yesterday again tells me the past, so it's going to be ate, and let's just read it and check our work. Then yesterday, Jamal and Oscar ate many vegetables. Okay. Yesterday, they what? They liked the eggplant best. Well, again, yesterday is my clue to the past, so it's going to be said instead of say. Yesterday, they said they liked the eggplant best. Now they, what, they will plant their own garden. Since it's happening now, I know it's in the present, so it's going to be say. Now they say they will plant their own garden. Okay, so not too tricky. A lot of these things you do naturally anyways while you're speaking. Just really paying attention to the fact that they are irregular in the past tense. So say, said, eat, eat. Now, two other words we're working with today. They're also irregular. Give, gave, and take, took. So give and gave are also irregular verbs. They do not add that ed in the past. Give tells about an action happening now in the present. Gave tells about an action in the past. Take tells about an action happening now. Took tells about an action in the past. Okay, so again, that thinking question, is the action happening now or did it happen in the past? Now, I give the plants water. In the past, I gave the plants water yesterday. In the present, they take vegetables to their neighbors. Past, they took vegetables to their neighbors. Okay, so let's do some examples. Yesterday, we what seeds to plant in the garden? Yesterday tells me it's in the past, so it's going to be, ooh, it's going to be took. Almost, they almost got me having it the other way. <laughs> Yesterday, we took seeds to plant in the garden. Now, we what the seeds water? Well, since it's happening now, I know it's going to be give, because that's the present. Now we give the seeds water. Okay. Next, the plants what minerals from the soil? Well, next is still happening now, right? So next, the plants take minerals from the soil. All right. And then the last one, now the plants blank time to grow. Now, again, tells me. Now the plants take time to grow. Okay, so again, things that you might recognize and do automatically without thinking about, you just really want to pay attention to give being irregular in the past as gave, take being irregular as took, say being irregular as said, and eat being irregular as ate. So those are our irregular verb focuses for this week. So you'll have a page practicing that as well. All right, have a great rest of your day, friends.